be devoted to quoting, paraphrasing, or referencing another person's content. All right. Is this a new rule, not disqualified, but marked down substantially? It says disqualify. Oops. Um, wherever it is. Second, first paragraph at the bottom, uh, second line, second for the bottom, a majority of the voting judges must concur in the decision to disqualify. That's the current rule book. I kind of wish it was, but then how much do you penalize? It's hard to standardize. Uh, the only, re only way a contestant can be kicked out of the contest is originality and eligibility. And judges have nothing to do with eligibility. So this is it. I've seen it challenged. I've seen where it should have been and not caught until the next level. And because it wasn't caught, and it has to be caught before the winner is announced. If the winner's announced, they move on. But I've seen it where it was challenged afterwards, because sometimes it's hard to prove on the spot. So what they do instead is they pick up the phone and they call the consensus and say, look, you got away with it this time. We highly recommend you change your speech for the next level. Which is the wrong way to do it, but there's no choice. Once it's announced, it's a done deal. So it's a big deal, very important. So if you raise a protest, no, and it's, I mean, when we talked about this, is about speech contests are for the contestant. Remember that? And that going all the way back to the beginning here. That's what, what we do this for. And you don't want anybody cheating, and they, more than likely they didn't know that they were breaking a rule. So I hate to see somebody penalized for this, but it's also not fair to the other contestants who are following the same rules. And the more important thing is what you said. Judges confer. Bring the contestant in and ask the question. Make them understand why you're disqualifying them. It's, it's a hard, hard discussion. All right, we've only got five minutes left, and I'm just starting on tall tales. <laughs> Not good. Uh, OK. This is all the rule book says about tall tales. All of, it obviously follows all the other contest rules. But the subject must be of a highly exaggerated, improbable nature, or have a theme or a plot. Remember, we're going to be judging this next, next spring. So this is going to be real, and none of us have experience. I've never judged a Tall Tales contest. So this is going to be new for me, too. And humor and props may be used to support it. But you can use humor and props in the other speeches, too. But it's in the rules here that it's expected to have humor and probably props. If, uh, often, speakers will wear costumes or their, their clothing, and they rely on props and things. And it's a whole different world than other, other speeches. Uh, looking at the ballot, oh, this is a fascinating thing. I, God, I wish we had time to talk about this. Speech development. Look at the content percentage. 30%. Only 30% is content. Okay, but here's where it gets complicated. Look at the look at the delivery. 55%. Look, read that speech techniques. Refers to the various tall tale skills such as exaggeration, irony, pun, humor, surprise twist. These techniques are the essence of a tall tale. They must be skillfully incorporated into the tale. Doesn't that sound like content to you? <laughs> Why is that under delivery? So even though it says 55% delivery, I'm not sure you're actually evaluating 55%. So I don't like this ballot very much. I've never seen it before until I started preparing for this. But it's just something you know, we have to deal with. Everybody's, every contestant has the same ballot. So it's something to be careful of. When it says 55% delivery, it doesn't necessarily mean 55% delivery. It depends on how you, where you want to rank the speech techniques. So look at these individual levels rather than the, the big the delivery. You all should have a copy of that Tall Tales ballot in front of you. So I'd recommend you read through that before. before that. And language that's I have an example for a tall tale, but I don't have time to, say, to watch it. So <coughs> another thing you'll have to, uh, um, if you want to see it, you can probably just do a Google search. That's what I did. Uh, it's not that hard to find. Ravages of raw food. The ravages of raw food. Yeah, I was like a this, I'll tell you the story. It was about uh, <coughs> this woman uh, went on a, a diet, an all veggie diet. And she went into her refrigerator and got into a fight with vegetables. <laughs> And tons of jokes and cooking puns and all that. And so it was it really was pretty funny. It's a good example. Uh, judges' code of ethics. All right, this is my summary. I thought this is what's on the back of the ballot. 
not only is it on the back of the ballot, it's on the back of the, um, although I notice they've shortened it, Judge's Code of Ethics a little bit, these new forms. It only has three of the points. I've got five here, but this, these five, I believe, are on the uh, judge's elect, the, when you get that form, the eligibility, the judge's eligibility form, and Code of Ethics are on there that you sign your name to. This is what you're signing your name to. Uh, let's see, I have, I have one minute, that's enough time. Uh, Bob, let's, let's read that first one. Go ahead and read that first one. Can you? There is. I will demonstrate the utmost objectivity. I will consistently uh, basis uh, of any kind in selecting first, second, third place contestants out loud. Consider any contestants club, area, division, direct district affiliation. Nor will I consider any contestants age, sex, race, creed, national origin, profession, or political beliefs. All right, thank you. Any questions about that? It's hard, hard to do, but there it is in black and white and in three lines plus. Lisa, number two. I will not time the speeches and will not consider the possibility of under time or over time when judging a contestant speech. Uh, Regis, can I take one? Okay. All right, who can read that? Okay, go ahead. I will support by word and deed the contest rules and judging standards, refrain from public criticism of the contest, and only reveal my participation as a judge, scores and ranking in accordance with speech contest rules. Right, um, the rules say don't share them. <clears throat> Never talk about what you judge. The one exception to that that I have made is if there's a contestant I thought did a really great job, I will tell them, okay, I had you ranked a little higher than the results. But one-on-one, -on -one, and if I had someone who I thought needed the encouragement, because to me it's all about the contestants, and I mean, that, that contestant needs to walk out of there not feeling like a loser, I will tell them that, hey, you did good. Don't worry, the competition was tough. You were, you were in the competition. Otherwise, and that includes taking this top part of this sheet away from the site. Take it home and throw it away. Don't throw it away there on site at a garbage can. Make sure it's all destroyed and nobody will ever see that top part of your sheet. All right, I am not a member of the same club as any contestants when judging a division a district. I know that one. And I have no conflict of interest with any of the contestants that would cause me to be biased. The trick there, of course, is the cause to be biased part, which, uh, yeah, if, if you really, if you help, here's the one time I'll disqualify myself as a judge is that I mentored somebody and created that speech, one of the speeches in the contest. Uh, then I will disqualify myself. I will not get involved because I don't want that's too too much of a chance of bias. One, not only bias towards them, I'm afraid I might count over counter, overcompensate, and be too critical of them because I know the speech too well. That's my presentation, and it is one minute past. Any, any. Yes. We do have an evaluation that we would like you to complete, please, for this session. Please take a few moments just to write an opportunity of growth or something you thoroughly enjoyed from the session. We appreciate that. Since we don't have time for Q&A, too, feel free to uh, somebody around here will know my email address.